We got a service call. AC number four. Dairy AC. As you can see, it's right here. It's F1. And AC four. Dairy. It's off on fan fail. This is our AC unit right here. Um, these two lines right here is basically pretty much our heat reclaim line. We send a instead of sending the gas to the condenser, we'll send it out here to the um, heat reclaim coil where we use it for heat. Also to to control the dew point of the store. This is a temp temp trawl. It's a pretty old unit, nice old setup. I don't know if you ever seen anything like it, but uh, let's just open this up. So, as you can see, our fan is running. All right, I got my veto bag inside my meter, and here's our proof switch right here. Um, basically, it proves that the fan is running. If the fan is not running, normally what this would do is it would sense the pressure and send the trip. And what would happen is the condenser unit would turn off, uh, prevent the unit from freezing up, basically lock out the condenser from coming on. All right, so I just got the cover off my airflow switch. Also got my meter set up. Basically, I got my meter set up for continuity. And um, basically, there's no voltage here. This is just looking for continuity. In this case, uh, we're sending, once you get the continuity, it sends it back to the controller. The controller tells the condenser to turn on. So let's just check for continuity right quick. As you can see, this is open. Go from top to bottom. Nothing. Top to there. Nothing. Right, so I so just jumped them out. I put the white one down on top of the red one. Let's go check our controller and see if our fan fail status went away. I didn't even make it to go check out the controller. And uh, I can see our condenser came on. Look at our fans. These fans are cycling on head pressure. Here's our contactor for uh, stage one, stage two. Also, this is the motor protector, those little three uh, switches right there. Uh, you, as you see, one of them is tripped. Take a step back and look. That first fan right there is not running. All right, so I just opened my compartment where my compressors are. Um, we got some tandem scrolls. Um, they are piped together, same suction, same discharge. Um, basically, almost like a parallel rack, almost. They're parallel. So R22 unit. Uh, where we are, 60 over 290. Uh, got my thermal couple hooked up. Uh, I'm gonna hook my thermal cup up to the meter and uh, check our super. Right now, I just checked the amps. Uh, 61 amps on this one. Just check our amps on our other compressor. Uh, 55 amps on this compressor. Also, whenever you're working on condensers or package units, you wanna always look and make sure if your fan is in there, you wanna also make sure your cover is on. Uh, when checking these pressures. If you have your cover off while checking these pressures, your condenser pressure is going to be a lot higher than normal. I'm a 916 wrench up here. I don't have a drill up here, but I'll use that. And um, I'm going to check out this windings of this fan motor. All right, so I have the fan guard off. And uh, first thing I notice is, look at that. It's a lot of plate. Um, these bearings are bad. So, uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and rip this out anyway. All right, so I'm back with my new motor. It's a Marathon Electric, um, dual voltage. Um, so basically I'm gonna have to confirm the voltage. I got my new motor installed inside the, the belly band. Everything's nice and tight. Uh, like I said, I just wired it up. There's no real correct way to wire this. Just hook it up and um, confirm the voltage before turning the power on and then check your rotation and uh, if the rotation is going the wrong way all you got to do is just reverse any one of these leaks doesn't matter which one just swap one of them over and the, the rotation will go in the opposite direction all right so I'm just confirming my voltage uh, it's kind of hard to see right here but um, as you can see this is 208 volts 
And if we scroll all the way over here, you can see that it says condenser fan. There's three of them, one horsepower, 5.8 FLA, LRA is 17, 208, 60. Hertz. All right, so I'm just doing a double check and confirming how much voltage are we getting to these condenser fan motors. Like I said, this is our motor protector right there. And um, as you see, we're getting 208, so. All right, so I'm just double checking my um, voltage plug at the motor right here. Uh, as you can see, we are right here where it says volts right there. And then right there it says low. So this is low voltage, um, 208. If it was high voltage, this motor would be set for 480. All right, so this is my fan blade, uh, 26 diameter. 30 pitch clock. All right, wire. so I just mounted my new airflow switch. Basically, we're just gonna check the continuity. The blower is running right now, so I'm just gonna turn my meter on continuity and we're gonna just see what we get. All right, so we got continuity. This switch is closed. We're gonna go ahead and wire this back up and we're gonna see if our condenser unit turns on manually. All right, so I just finished wiring it up. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, Put the cover on all right so everything just start up on its own nothing's jumped out all right so let's just check out our dairy ac ac number four right there so enter zoom out all right so as you can see that dew point came down 52 set point is 50 our temperature is 74 degrees so our unit is cooling. 